Hey guys, I'm Daniel Springs. Today I've got an all new review for www.smokinghookah.com. Today's review is going to be on some Fumari, and today's flavor is going to be Ambrosia. Um, some things to note about this shisha it is tobacco, so it's going to have nicotine in it. Uh, you will get a buzz on it. I've been smoking it for a few minutes, just testing it out. I've never really smoked this stuff before. Uh, some things that you want to do whenever you set this stuff up, I'll show you how my setup is. Um, basically what I've done is I've, I've taken the Malibu Gold Hookah and I've just taken half of the stem and the shaft and uh, put that together, put the ice chamber on there, just got got tons of cool coolness on this thing just to cool that smoke down so I can do a review on this flavor by itself. Uh, I have been using my wind guard on top of my vortex bowl. You're going to want to use a vortex bowl because that's the best way to smoke this. If you don't have a vortex bowl, if you're using a funnel bowl, even better. Uh, everybody's saying use a funnel bowl on a lot of the Spumari and the Tangers. Um, you you want to use a funnel or a vortex. I don't personally have a funnel bowl. Mine broke. So load that stuff up in a funnel bowl. The reason why you want that is because your shisha sits low and the holes sit above the shisha um, and basically it just keeps the shisha from burning all of that molasses up going through the stem and the shaft and it just keeps your, your flavor pure. Um, today I'm using just a lemon coal I broke in half. Uh, it, a lot of people, they say, well, you don't get a lot of smoke off of that. And that's because I'm doing a review on the flavor, not on how much smoke there is. And I don't want to get thunder clouds. But with this shisha, um, the only thing I really don't personally like about it is going to be the packaging. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, the packaging doesn't matter. Well, the way that I like to store my shisha is back in, like, the packaging that it originally comes in. That way it's easy for me to organize it on my shelf for me to use for reviews. Um, so you're going to get it, it's going to be in a sealed container. I've got another package here that I haven't opened. So basically you rip the top off, it's got a zipper on the top. Um, it's going to keep your shisha fresh and everything. And it's nice because it's a dark package, so the UV light that shines in if you've got it in a sunny area isn't going to damage the shisha. That's the thing a lot of people don't know, UV light damages shisha, alcohol, anything you've got UV light can damage it. So, a lot of people I've noticed are using like Tupperware to store their shisha. What I did was I went ahead and I took the shisha out, put it in Tupperware, using a spoon to mix it up, make sure the molasses and the, the flavoring saturates all the tobacco. So, then I loaded it up in the Vortex Bowl, and I've been smoking it for a few minutes. And I'm just using my wind guard so I can keep some good heat on it with just that one coal. And the flavor I get off of this shisha. Oh. Is a really good melon flavor. Really sweet. And I'm going to tell you exactly the shisha that I can compare it to. And it's going to be Jules Sweet Melon. Now, um, the Sweet Melon... Uh, flavor that Jules had a few years ago. This is an old container I got from them. That's the, the closest thing I can compare it to is in Shisha. I can't compare it to an Alpha here because the Alpha here actually has a very strong melon flavor and this is a very subtle, smooth melon flavor. Uh, it's sweet, like I said, and uh, the name of it is Ambrosia. So that I thought was very interesting because it doesn't say sweet melon. It, it's it's not just a straight up sweet melon name in the title, but you get lots of smoke. Like I said, I put ice on it to cool it to make it more subtle. Um, using a vortex bowl just to make sure I get a good burn on that. And like I said, I'm using a natural coal, Lemon Nara. Very good burn on it. It's not getting too hot. Uh, I wrapped it with three pieces of aluminum foil just to make sure I didn't burn the shisha. So I can get a good, good flavor out of this. So I can do a really good review for you guys.
tons of smoke, great smoke out of this stuff, flavor, really good aftertaste. So, how wet is this shisha? It's very wet. You can see it actually in the bottom corner of the packaging. So you're gonna see how wet it is down there. Very, very wet. It is brown in color. So it's got more of a natural molasses in it. It's not like your Alpha here or uh, some of the, the newer stuff that uh, Fantasia is coming out with is red, green, blue, stuff like that. You're not gonna have a problem with allergies. Uh, I know a lot of people are having issues with the food dye or the dyes that are in the shishas. This stuff, you're not gonna have an issue with that. Just really good smoke out of it. I really like this flavor. It's not too over the top. It's not so overwhelming. Uh, really good, like I said, really good aftertaste. So, whenever you smoke it, the aftertaste lasts for about a minute, maybe two minutes. You can definitely taste it. It's gonna roll around in your mouth. Um, all right, let me talk about the shisha a little bit. Now, whenever I look at the shisha, what I look for in shisha is how much stem, how much leaf is in there. Uh, this is really, really well made. It's got a lot of leaf, not any stem in there that I can see really. Um, the molasses in there, it's pretty runny, uh, so you could make a mess with it. Um, and like I said, you want to use a funnel bowl or a vortex bowl, something with a spire that sticks up and has the holes above your shisha, just to give this stuff a really good burn. Again, the flavor, it it tastes like if you were to chew a stick of gum that is melon flavored. So I'm not saying that it tastes like bubble gum, I'm saying that it tastes like a piece of fruit flavored gum. So if you find a piece of gum that tastes like melon, this is what I'm going to compare it to. If you blow a bubble in your mouth and you pop the bubble in your mouth, that's kind of the flavor that you're going to get out of this. It's a really good melon flavor. So. You're gonna get a buzz. It does have the nicotine in it. Uh, it's very wet. Um, the packaging is nice. Zipper top so you can seal it up right after you put it in your bowl. Very nice packaging. Not my favorite packaging though because I kind of like the tins. But overall, it's a great product. So uh, go check out the other videos I have on the Fumari. Got another one coming up on the uh, Mimosa. That one's gonna come out pretty soon. Uh, if you guys could go to the Facebook, like it on Facebook. Uh, I run the Google Plus. I'm usually there on Monday nights. You guys can check that out. Come smoke with me. Um, don't forget, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, on the Smoking Kuka site. There are some blogs there. There's some blogs. I'll leave links in the description below for those. Again, I'm Daniel Springs. I just want to thank SmokingHookah.com for making this possible. And always remember, check it out on Reddit. Reddit is something new that I'm running, and you guys can go see all the stuff there. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Daniel Springs. Keep smoking. Thank mm -hmm. you.